Okay, now I've opened them up quite a bit. See, they're still dancing around. You need need to give the water time to settle down, and you need to not walk around on the floor because that causes vibrations. But they will settle down. You can see a little bit of curvature there. Yeah, I'm making another adjustment. See the effect of changing the screws. And you may have to play around with it a bit to get the fringes more open. You don't need quite this many fringes. And that's much better. I actually have too many or too few fringes now. You see it's still leveling itself out. You see this flat is not very flat. But it also could be um, it could be thermally induced too. If the, if the water is not the water and part are not at the same temperature, you can change it. You can you see it change over time. Yeah, that's too too few fringes I have here. Now the only other thing is to determine whether or not it's convex or concave and to do that you have to turn the screw that's most perpendicular to it um, that is it's most the fringes seem to be going in this direction let's say it's reverse left to right so looks like it's gone now <laughs> Let's see. Along this axis of my finger here. So I need to turn uh, the, the screw over here. And you can see that there's. Oh, I bounce. I'm walking around and touching the. The, the platform so every time I touch it, it it really bounces around until I sit still and don't don't mess with it but if I adjust the um, screw that's perpendicular to the fringes and look at which way they tr they move you can uh, determine whether or not it's convex or concave Okay, so if you want to know if the part is convex or concave, you turn the screw closest to you clockwise, and the fringes should be perpendicular to that screw. Um, if the fringes get more open, then continue to turn it clockwise. And continue until the fringes start to be closer together again. And at that point, the, the fringes represent a cross-section of uh, of the part measured in fringes. Um, don't forget that uh, uh, in water one fringe equals three-eighths of a wave and not a half of a wave as it, as it would be tested in air. And you can also uh, get freeware program called Fringe XP to to analyze the fringes. But it won't tell you if it's convex or concave. You have to do that with the leveling screws. And you can find a complete written out instructions for doing this test um, on my Spiderlish um, Yahoo group. It's a PowerPoint presentation and it has a lot of useful information in it. So that's a test. Give it a try. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, thank you.